it isn't Saucy Jack. Just a little too late, as usual. Armstrong! Impressive little toy you've got there. But your plan ends here. <laughs> Idiot! You're not ending our plan. You're expanding it. Check the internet lately. Ryder, <laughs> Air Force One is turning back to the States. What? How'd they know? Someone posted photos of what's happening on the base. The whole world is up in arms. Show me. How did they? The story leaked early, then Marshall's plan is ruined. The hell it is. Look what they're saying. The story just went live, and already they're calling for blood. But the president was saved. And yet American blood was spilled. By Americans. Besides, a few dozen soldiers is tragic, but nothing to start a major war over. That's just a spark, son. The excuse we've been waiting for. America's wanted this war for years. The Patriots, they knew war was good for the economy. Four years later, their legacy lingers on. The memes. They left us their Isms, nationalism, unilateralism, materialism. Welcome maxims for those with no faith, without guiding principles of their own. Give yourself up to the whole. No need to better yourself. You're American. You're number one. Then the only value left is dollar value, the economy. So we'll do whatever it takes to keep it humming along. Even war, especially war. Bullshit! The Patriots planted the seed. We don't need them around to filter and foster their memes any longer. We're spreading them just fine ourselves. Every American man, woman, and child. We're all sons of the Patriots now! <sighs> we just need something to jumpstart the economy out of this funk. This recession it's been stuck in since the fall of SOP. <laughs> And the military costs? Wasting billions is going to help the economy? DMCs, arms manufacturers, job creators, Jack. All those workers spending money, paying taxes. Trust me, a little war can work wonders. So grease the gears with some innocent blood, is that it? Oh, relax, Jack. It's a war on terror. We're not out to kill civilians. Extremists, lawless gangs, madmen. <sighs> of course, that would have to include you. Wouldn't want any eyewitness reports complicating the message.
Let's go! The hell are you thinking? <laughs> Play college ball, you know. That's some cushy Ivy League school. <laughs> Try University of Texas. Could have gone pro if I hadn't joined the Navy. I'm not one of those beltway handsies. I could break the president in two with my bare hands. <laughs> What the hell are you? <laughs> Why don't you stick around and find out? What? Nice knife. <gasps> Truly free, damn it! A nation of action, not words ruled by strength, not committee! Where the law changes to suit the individual, not the other way around! Where power and justice are back where they belong! In the hands of the people! Every man is free to think, to act for himself. Fuck all these lyptic lawyers and ticket shit bureaucrats. Fuck this 24-7 internet spew of trivia and celebrity bullshit. <laughs> America's diseased, rotten to the core. There's no saving it. We need to pull it out by the roots. <laughs> Wipe the slate clean. Burn it down! <laughs> and from the ashes, a new America will be born! Evolved, but unchanged! <laughs> the weak will be purged, and the strongest will thrive. Free to live as they see fit. They'll make America great again! What the hell are you talking about? You still don't get it. I'm using war as a business to get elected! <laughs> so I can end war as a business. 
my new America. People will die and kill for what they believe. Not for money, not for oil. Not for what they're told is right. Every man will be free to fight his own wars. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? Uh, how the hell did you get elected? <laughs> well, I don't write my own speeches. You should try fighting for what you believe in sometime, Jack. Not for a company or a nation or for anyone else. Finally getting through? Mm. I'll rid this world of pointless wars, Jack. of will, following your own set of rules. With your own two hands, you took back your life. And now, I'll take yours. Why won't you die? <laughs> Nanomachine son. They harden in response to physical trauma. You can't hurt me, Jack. <laughs> what did I just say? Best 
Best man wins. Sam. I cut him down, and that's that. Back to our regularly scheduled international incident. But if he beats me, if I die here, the lock on my blade will disable after a couple hours. What happens after that is up to you, Wolfie. Huh. Even dead, that guy's a pain in my ass. So... You think that little sword can save your master? <laughs> well, go ahead then. But make no mistake, Fido. When I'm finished with him, you're next. I was not designed to fear termination. However, Directive 01 is to ensure all data acquired is preserved and passed along. To expire here would violate that directive. That's a good boy. <laughs> However, Raiden came to my aid. I have learned from him. When Samuel fell, data analysis was inconclusive. But that has changed. I have established new parameters now. Created my own directives. You little fuck. Huh? Status quo will go on for a while longer, at least. War will continue as an institution, as an industry. Men will fight for reasons they don't understand, causes they don't believe in. But at least I'll leave. A worthy successor. You, Jack. You carve your own path. Use whatever methods you see fit. <coughs> you don't let legal bullshit get in the way. And if it costs a few lives, so be it. Die. 